personally, the hardest thing that I had to like learn how to do was kind of just communicating with adults and going through the recruiting process. I was really shy. I didn't like um, like going up to people or introducing myself, and I hated making phone calls at first because it was just very out of my comfort zone. And I think that it helped me immensely learn how to advocate for myself and use my voice for myself, but also um, in turn like advocate for people who can't advocate for themselves. And things like I'm involved in Special Olympics and then a couple of other clubs with the Rehabilitation Club and Special Olympics are both really important to me. Like going to the future, I would like to become an occupational therapist, which a lot of people that you work with have a harder time being advocates for themselves. So I feel like learning how to stand up for what's important to me has helped me be able to also in turn eventually help others and just being able to have like connections from soccer to get internships or um, observation hours and all of that because obviously as you get older and you have to get jobs and stuff, communication is very important and I think that having to speak to coaches and everyone on a daily basis is something that helps build a lot of character. Yeah, I think a common theme about growth is that like it happens when you're uncomfortable and like when things get hard, you know what I'm saying? I think one of the most recent um, like areas of growth that I've had in terms of like being like really speaking up about like the African American African American community was like after like George Floyd. Um, obviously, I was during COVID and like it was a situation where we all had to like sit and like really deal with that. Um, and I think that was really where I was able to kind of find my voice and like really speak up about a lot of things that was going on, like the injustices. Um, the inequalities, not just in the black community, but in like every community. Um, and it, like, it, it sucks that it takes things like that to kind of make people realize those things a lot of times. But um, like I said, I think it's, it's great that out of it though, people, I think like me, because I know I'm not the only one that left that situation feeling like, wow, like, I, like I, even I learned a lot, you know what I'm saying, um, about myself about like where I come from and it made me delve or dive deeper into, you know what I'm saying, my history and my family and things like that. And so in that situation that was a, like a terrible situation, and it is a terrible situation, um, like that was where the most growth happened in terms of my identity as a black male, I'd say. So a lot of you have talked about using your voices and as student athletes, you all have a tremendous platform because of your exposure, because of your student athlete status. I guess, can you all, I and mean, some of you have already done this, can some of you identify that moment where you realized that your platform matters and your voice does matter? I think a lot of times I forget like, at the end of the day, how cool it is to be a student athlete. Like, I don't know, like, Especially like being on a team with like some guys that you know might have a shot to go pro or like whatever or playing against guys that go pro like I don't know you just just get into this rhythm of just like oh these are just like the homies like these are just the, the boys like I'm here every day like paying my dues like but you definitely can forget like I guess the platform you have that you're talking about because it's like like I can remember one time like I don't even remember who I was talking to, but like I was just walking through like Gamble and like I had like my backpack on and they were like, Oh, like you play football? And I was like, Yeah, like what? Like who cares? You know, like, what's the big deal? Like I remember one time too, this was crazy. I don't even know why the kid really remembered me of all people. Like I played D line, you know, like no one remembers the D line. And like um, we we're at a game, what game was it? Like the against Drake or something. And there was like a kid like in the stands and he was like, Yo, Griffin, 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 like whatever. And like, he remembered me from like last year because I guess I talked to him last year and he was like the front row and like, I don't know, it was kind of like just a real world like, like whoa, like this is actually pretty cool. Like I can remember growing up like, like in middle school, like you think being on like the high school team is like the coolest thing ever. And then like when you're on the high school team, you're like being on a college team is the coolest thing ever. And now that you're on a college team, it's just like, eh, you know. But like, but reminding <laughs> ourselves of the platform that we have, like, I don't know, it's pretty cool that I often forget a lot of the times. I think when I kind of realized that I had a platform, I guess, sort of say, was when we worked the kids camp this summer. It was just really cool to see, because soccer is not like hockey or football. Like, it's not a sport that gets a ton of like front page yeah. anything. 
but like how many kids came and like knew who certain players were or were like thought that it was the coolest thing ever that like I just like I just kick a ball around and like kids are like so <laughs> impressed by that yeah. it's like, crazy because to me like I guess like looking back when I was their age I thought like D1 soccer was like the absolute coolest thing ever and now I do it every day and I'm like oh I have to go to soccer like it's not like it's like you forget how much like work you put in just to do like the little things that you do every day that you start to look at sometimes as like oh like I would like rather do be able to get this done or something like and it's like you just it's a cool opportunity that a lot of people want to have that you kind of take for granted sometimes. Yeah, I, I had a, a similar experience. I went back home and I worked a lot of camps and I didn't realize it at the time, but I was the first person from like my town to play Division One softball. And so I would go back and the little girls would be so excited to see Coach KB. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> and um, it just, it made me realize like what that meant to those kids and like they felt like they could be something and do something. And, it was a really cool moment for me. Yeah. And I think all the capabilities we have on campus to make an impact, just through all the different initiatives that we do. And I mean, we're athletic, so we attract a lot of eyes at us, but the impact that we're able to give back just in our little community is cool. And then sometimes you forget again, because it's just something you do. You know? And I think too, kind of drawing it back to like the question, like talking about like voice and like using our voice, like just how important it is to like really stand up for something like you were kind of saying, like, um, like I know, so you were talking too, like explaining more about like the, or elaborating more on the George Floyd, like example, like I can remember like all that happening, like I'm a white dude from the suburbs, you know, like, super nice county um one of the top in the nation like i'm super fortunate to come from the, the place that i did and it taught me a lot of life lessons but um in light of that and coming to like a super diverse you know football team like it left me very ignorant um and just like what the world actually looks like um like obviously like i had never obviously i hadn't but i had never seen any you know my handful of black friends or whatever experience racism just because of where we were um but seeing stuff like, you know, police brutality and stuff coming up like really regularly on the news, like, like man, this is crazy. And so it, it draws a, a point to like really being vocal with our platform, especially living in a place like North Dakota, right? Like, um, and using that, um, the platform we have in the voice to, to educate at the end of the day. Um, yeah, absolutely. So um, again, your upperclassmen leaders on campus, and I'd like to ask you to either reflect back and give some life lessons to yourselves as freshmen, or give some advice to future generations of student athletes that'll step foot on campus. What are some of the ways that you can find your identities or find your voice? I think get involved in as much as you can without like overloading yourself. But for me, the way that I think that I came into like my shell and like who I am was so much through like more than just being an athlete it was through like the clubs that I joined and the like volunteer experiences that were on helper helper like things that are like small and random I feel like they add up a lot to building like a lot of different just like knowledge in different areas and I think that taking advantage of the ability to be involved um, and just learn more about everything when you get the chance because college is like a time to do that I think that I would really recommend doing that and not like just sticking to being an athlete because I feel like coming in my identity all of high school had always just been like I'm a soccer player so learning who I am beyond an athlete because next year soccer ends and then who are you yeah yeah I can say kind of the same thing like it's super important just to, like be involved like being in college is kind of like the last opportunity where people are being paid to help you. Like after you kind of graduate, it kind of like flips. <laughs> so like, it's important to kind of like take advantage of those opportunities. You gotta like, especially exactly. Yeah, like take advantage, especially like, I mean, if you're on a scholarship, you're getting your school paid for, like it's super important just to like be involved like with the school and like 
because there's so many great opportunities in that like like we've been talking about really like the identities that other people have like you can learn so much like another thing i would say that kind of relates to identities like some i would say saying incoming freshmen is just like be yourself like don't be afraid because i mean a lot of times too coming to und like if you're a student of color it's kind of hard to really assimilate into the culture here because like you kind of you stand out like no matter where you walk like like it's, it's not gonna be uncommon for you to like for people to just be like looking at you because you're an athlete and your color you know what i'm saying so it's important to stick to your roots know your roots and like just be yourself you know what i'm saying like be who you are but don't be afraid to like i said be involved and learn from other experiences people have I would say just like one big thing going into college is just to have like an open mind. I feel like you learn so much in four years and like maybe like one of the biggest growing times in your life. So just learn from like your school, your teammates, your friends, just keep an open mind and just learn as much as you can. Yeah, I would say don't be afraid to like, yeah, looking back at my freshman self, I would say don't be afraid to get involved in things that you're passionate about. Um, I can't tell you, I mean, community service is really important for me, and obviously it's really important to the athletics department. I mean, we do great with community service hours every year, and that's something that I found my identity in, is just serving the community, but yeah, I mean, looking back, nothing against the male student athletes, but freshman year, like, I mean, there'd be times, I mean, there's 15 girls signed up for an event, like, do I want to sign up or not? Like, I don't know anyone. Um, so yeah, just, and yeah, I mean, it was good that I did, because um, I found my identity in that, but like, yeah, sometimes it's tough to like make that decision and kind of put yourself out there and yeah, do the things that you want to do um, regardless of like the external things going on. Um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, my freshman self would have, would have appreciated that advice, I think. <laughs> I think one of the things that I would recommend for younger students is to learn how to advocate for yourself. I know when I was like a freshman and sophomore, I really kind of sat back and just let life thing or like life happen around me and I think it's really important to ask for the things that you want and learn how to stand up for yourself because that translates to standing up for others and the worst that someone can say to you is no. I think too like in athletes is, or athletics does like a, a really good job of teaching you this but like I think one thing that really stands athletes apart especially in like the workforce is just their people skills like as opposed to like you know what they know about like like I'm an accounting major for example like you know so it's like but I might be a lot more like personable or I'm able to like have difficult conversations or like I know what like real world leadership looks like and you know I know um, how to influence other people based off like how they're feeling or, or like like through athletics. So I think like something that would be important to have a conversation with a freshman is like, like have those conversations, um, like really step out of your comfort zone and grow um, and like really push yourself to like, if you don't know this person, like ask what their name is. Like it's not awkward, you've never met them. Like, what, like why do you think it's awkward to ask what their name is, you know? So it's like, <laughs> but that's definitely a people skill like yeah. that you can develop and that what I would probably push um, like, a freshman coming in to do um, because that is ultimately like you got to get through an interview to land a good job right like you're gonna have the same resume at the end of the day as four other people but like you got to be really personable um, and whatnot, so. I also think um, like we talked a lot about like standing up for things and what you believe in and your identity but I think also just taking care of yourself and being forgiving of yourself and understanding that like it's your first time like being on your own and you'll make mistakes and you'll learn but like you don't learn lessons like doing things right every time so like facing adversity is uncomfortable but for me I think that it helped me in hindsight immensely 